My name is Erica and I'm going to be talking about Asian small clawed otters today. So Asian small clawed otters are a pretty interesting otter species. Out of the 13 otter species, they are the smallest and they're also the most terrestrial, so they spend the least amount of time in the water. They are usually found in Southeast Asia, um, countries like Malaysia and Singapore. Um, they also usually reside in places like mangrove swamps, wetlands, um, streams and rivers. They're found a, a variety of different places. Um, in the wild, Asian small clawed otters are probably going to be eating a lot of crustaceans, mollusks, um, shrimp, crabs, that kind of thing, and um, a big portion of their diet is also going to be fish. Um, they also like to munch on insects and small amphibians and that kind of thing too. So these animals are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red listing scale. Um, they are in an SSP, a species survival plan, in many zoos and aquariums around the world. And they are listed because of habitat destruction in that Southeast Asia region, mainly by rice farming, shrimp farming, um, and other types of aquaculture production in that area. They are also um, a little harder to find because a lot of people in that area see them as kind of a pest species. They'll dig through their rice farms to find crabs and that kind of thing. So um, they will actually poach them and that kind of thing. So there's been a lot of stuff going on recently um, and over the past maybe 30 years um, to help protect the species a little more and get everybody a little more educated on the Asian small clawed otter. We do have a fundraiser coming up. Our animal collection is changing more from an Asian themed collection to a Virginia wild theme. So we are fundraising and trying to get funds together to get a North American river otter enclosure started up. Um, it's gonna be a really, really big project, probably the biggest one Mill Mountain Zoo has had up to date. Um, and we need help from the community, but we also want people to be very aware of animals that are native to Virginia. So we're really excited for people to see what they might not be able to find in their backyard. Right now, you can come to the zoo anytime from 10 until 5, but our gates will close at 4.